Hi, and welcome to part three of our method series. In this part, we're going to be returning a variable from a method, and it's, it's very simple. So if you have a, a sensor, like a distance sensor, you can calculate the distance you are away from an object, and then you can send that distance variable back to your loop and make adjustments from there with what you want to do with it. All right, so here we go. We're going to do int. We're going to declare an integer, x. And we won't give it a value. Setup, we're going to set up the communication port, serial.print, whoops, begin. And we're going to go 9600. And down in the void loop. Now, this is where we're going to start everything. We're going to have x is going to equal what we received back from that method. So we're going to call our method test method. And there we go. This is all it's going to take to return a value back. Because whatever value you get from the test method is going to be assigned to uh, your variable x. Alright, and then next we're going to print that value out. Serial print ln we're going to print out x and then we're going to give it a delay of two seconds there we go now we're going to get down and we're going to create that test method to send a variable back and since we are returning something it's going to be a little different we're not going to have void we're going to be sending back an integer so I'm going to say int test method and there we go. Now inside the curly brackets, we're going to uh, declare another variable, int y. And that's going to equal a random number. Random, and we're going to go, it's going to be a random integer uh, from 0 to 99. And there we go. We're going to create that. That's going to be random number is going to be stored into y and then we're going to return that value so you just do that by going return y and that's it right there whatever you come up with for oh, numbers or whatever up here and you just do a return y and that will send that value back to the test method and it will get assigned to x and this will print out your random numbers. Let's try this out and see if this works. Compile and upload and it should just start generating random numbers. Let's see. Sorry, having a little problem there with the controller. Arduino, I didn't get uploaded to the Arduino. There we go. Okay, now it should start re generating random numbers and printing them out. 7, 49, 73. As you can see, we're printing out X. X doesn't equal anything up here until we call the test method. Comes down here, we assign a variable. Uh, a value which would be y and then we return that when we we return that x is now going to be equal to y and that's what we're printing out there and I hope this helps this will uh, reduce a lot of your code instead of writing things over and over and over you can put a group together your code that belongs together into a method and then you just call that method Thanks for watching, and keep watching our other videos. Thank you.